Have no fear, have no fear. The king of the dinosaurs is here. That would be me. Tyrannosaurus Rex, which actually means Tyrant Lizard King. And, well, that's me. <laughs> and did you know that a full-grown T-Rex, like myself, ta-da, is more than 12 meters in length? That's longer than a school bus. And when I stand up to my full height, I'm taller than a double-decker bus. The Tyrannosaurus Rexes weigh more than seven tons, you know. And I have the most beautiful teeth. Would you like to see them? Most vegetable-eating dinosaurs have small, bumpy teeth for chewing and grinding leaves and plants. But, well, you see, I am a carnivore. Uh, that means meat eater. Uh, yum, 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 yum. And my teeth are perfect for, well, there's simply no other way to put this, for eating other dinosaurs. And the best part is once my teeth get a little worn down, they're automatically replaced. It really is a tremendous honor being king of the dinosaurs. 65 million years ago, we T-Rexes ruled the world, especially these parts of North America. Here. Yeah. Well, I'd simply love to stay and chat with you all some more, but you see, my subjects need me, and I need them, because it's lunchtime! Oh dear. <laughs> Oh, hi! Uh, oh. oh! Welcome to the late Cretaceous period, uh, about 140 million years ago. Ah! I live in the land that is now known as Argentina! Uh -huh. <laughs> Yuck! That stuff tastes like, well, grass. Okay, as you may have guessed, I'm not a herbivore. A plant eater, like those Trubaria. I'm Gigantosaurus, the longest meat-eating dino who ever lived. You say my name like this, Jake and O. Saurus. It means giant southern lizard. <laughs> oh. Ah! Phew. I'm as big as a boat, and I'm just as heavy at eight metric tons. You're looking at the biggest head of any theropod that ever lived. But uh, I have the smallest brain. It's about the size of... of a banana. Ah! Hi! I found you! Ah. The only thing that really terrifies us Gigantosaurus is little sisters. Okay, sis. Want to go hunting? Yes! Will you do the roar for me? Sure, sis. <laughs> eh, she likes it when I do that. Ah, my friend. Welcome to paradise. I am Baryonyx. No, wait, my friend. You leave too soon. Look around. Ah, take it all in. Yes, yes. Believe me, this won't last forever. Alas, only 80 million years. Come, come closer. We will talk, you and I. Oh, but you are, how do you say, freaked out by my strangeness? My claws disturb you? My long, tapered mouth? I know you are as fascinated by me being a fish eater as I am. You see, with these, I can scoop up my fish dinner from the water. <laughs> and with the 90 short teeth I have in my mouth, I can eat it up. Yum. Yes, I know. I am very unique. There were not many of us. So come. We will soak in the sun of this paradise I live in. Smell the perfume of the very first flowering plants. Ah! See the first butterflies. Ah, yes, that's it. Come a little closer. You begin to understand why I love it here, yes? Fine. Then go, go!
go. There are other lungfish in the Cretaceous Swamp, you know. Just leave me be. But know this. You hurt me. Deeply. And now, I must sun myself. Gotcha. Scared you, didn't I? Well, that's because I'm an Afro-venator. That means African hunter. Pretty impressive, huh? But don't be worried. I won't hunt you. Watch me hunt that Jobaria. He won't see me coming and he'll be so scared. Oh, he's gone. Well, that's okay. I'm not that hungry. It wasn't like I was going to eat him in front of you. There really is no trick to hunting. You just have to look. Take that Chubaria, for example. He's huge. Very easy to spot. Perfect. But you know, you don't need to be 10 meters long with a mouthful of sharp teeth and three claws on each hand to be a hunter like me. For instance, you could hunt to find where in the world we are right now. Africa, that's right. There was also a clue in my name. Did you get that? Afro, meaning I'm from what's now known as Africa. Or you could hunt for fossils, like Paul Sereno, who found a nearly complete fossil of me in Niger in 1993. What a find! Someone who hunts for fossils is called a paleontologist. Ooh. Please excuse me. Gotcha! Come back and see me next week. I will teach you how to use your nails to comb your hair. Oh yeah! Welcome to the late Cretaceous period 70 million years ago. I'm a Gorgosaurus. That's Gorgosaurus. Mom? Now? They're gonna think I'm just a kid. I can't wait till I get big. I'm going to be even scarier than my mom over there. Rawr! Cause that's what my name means, Fearsome Lizard. I'm not as tall as she is yet, but one day I'll be nine meters long. I'll be as long as a house. Gorgosaurus like me, Tyrannosaurus? Phew, that's a big word. But it has to be big, just like us. Imagine, we're in the same dino family with T-Rex. See all the sharp teeth? We're meat eaters, and our teeth help us chew even the toughest meat. I'm from what is now known as Alberta, Canada. So when I get fully grown, watch out. If you want to get big, you have to eat a good meal. And I've already called you for lunch four times. Yes, Mom. Gotta go eat. See you later. Carcharodontosaurus here in the late Cretaceous period, 110 million years ago. Car, chero, donto, saurus. It means jagged, shark-toothed dinosaur. And for good reason. These teeth are 20 centimeters long. Pretty scary, huh? Well, they will be, anyway. I've got a loose tooth. When it's out, I'm going to be the happiest theropod ever. Theropod means beast feet. And there are lots of dinosaurs that belong to that family. Believe it or not, birds are in my family. Of course, T-Rex is the most famous theropod. But guess what? I'm just as big, if not bigger, than T-Rex. I'm 13 meters long! But I live in North Africa. Maybe if I don't wiggle it, it'll fall by itself. 
Maybe it won't be today. out of my egg. Oops, sorry about that. I thought that he might be hiding in there. Oh, by the way, I'm Mega Raptor. That's Mega Raptor. You may have noticed that I'm in a bit of a rush. So I haven't got a whole lot of time to chat. Aha! Uh -huh. Hey, wait a sec! Come back here! I'm as tall as a diving board. if you can help me with something. It's Mother's Day, and I have no idea what to get my mum. Do you have any ideas? A bag of nuts! That would be a great idea. But nope, she hates nuts. We're carnivores, and we don't eat plants. That's a great idea! Happy Mother's Day, Mom! Greetings! Welcome to the late Cretaceous period, 67 million years ago, in what is now known as North America. Ah! We're all waiting for the eggs to hatch. Hi! I'm True Dawn. True Dawn. It means tooth that wounds. That's because of the very sharp teeth that I have. We're also the smartest dinosaurs around. Hey, Mr. True Dawn, my friend and I have a problem. We had five seeds, I ate two, and now there's only one left. How many did my friend eat? Your friend ate two. I knew it. Hey, Percy, I told you, you owe me two seeds. <laughs> See? Super smart. I'm pretty much half the size of a human being. But since I'm a theropod like a T-Rex, I'm at the top of the food chain. Mr. Trudon, my friends and I only have this one cicade, but both want it. What do we do? Awesome! You're the coolest. Sharp teeth and very sharp toe claws. Oh, they're going to hatch. Well, it looks like we're going to have a big birthday party tonight. But tomorrow, they have to start learning math if they're going to be smart like me. One, two, three! Hi, I'm Velociraptor. Yes, the famous Velociraptor. The Velocir Raptor. It means speedy thief. See my long tail? It lets me run really fast. <sighs> Whew, but not for too long. Didn't know I had feathers, huh? I need them to keep me warm. Because, well, 85 million years ago, it sometimes got pretty cold around here. And where is here? It's what is now known as Northern China.
I'm not very big either. If you compare me to my cousins like the T-Rex. But like them, I'm a meat eater and I walk on two legs. But I'm just about the size of a big turkey. <laughs> I hunt in a pack. In fact, this whole time my pack has been watching us. Eva! like spending a day playing with your friends. Eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Bye.